Hey everyone, I'm Emily, and today we're going to talk about encounters. Encounters happen in Coyote and Crow when characters are in conflict in some way and they're attempting to do things that are in opposition to each other. To help figure out who is successful at doing what, encounters have a set of rules and guidelines that help move our story along. Encounters have very specific beginnings and endings and are the most structured part of gameplay. The story guide has the final say on when an encounter actually begins, but in general, an encounter begins when two or more characters intend to make skill checks in opposition to each other. This usually means that one or more player characters is interacting in some way with a non-player character. The story guide will ask for everyone's initiative at the start of the encounter, which will determine the order in which everyone takes actions. Players may choose an initiative between 1 and 12, but must be lower than their initiative score. They are encouraged to discuss when their characters should act. The story guide will choose a single initiative score for all non-player characters as a group, or one initiative number for each non-player character. The story guide will then reveal the initiative numbers they chose. All characters then act in initiative order from high to low. The story guide will decide the actions of all the non-player characters. Now that you know who's acting in what order, you'll all take turns taking actions. This is called a round. When everyone has taken an action, you'll start a new round and everyone will get to act again. In each round, characters will be able to take one primary action and some secondary actions. Most of the time, the two things you'll want to do is make a skill check or activate an ability. Let the story guide know and then follow the rules for the skill or ability. There are also a few other things that you can do with your primary action that are less common but may come into play. You can delay your action, which essentially lowers your initiative score for the round in order to wait and see what others do. You can spend your primary action to change your spot in the initiative order in subsequent rounds. Or if you have nothing you want to spend your primary action on, you can use it to do a secondary action. See the book for the details on these. Secondary actions are things that your character might want to do that don't necessarily involve dice. A character can do multiple secondary actions as long as those secondary actions don't conflict with each other, and you can only do each secondary action once per round. There are a few secondary actions that have specific definitions that we're going to cover here. Move is a secondary action that indicates a character wants to change their range relative to another character. This is the only secondary action that can be done as both a primary and a secondary action during the same round and simulates a character running full speed. The defend secondary action takes effect during other characters' actions. The player must specify who they are defending themselves against. They'll then get a bonus to their physical defense against that attacker. See the book for details. Similarly, take cover and dodge will add to a character's physical defense during combat. There are a lot of other possibilities for secondary actions, but the important thing to remember is that there are things that your character might want to do that usually don't involve performing a dice check. For example, your character is running down a hallway, a move secondary action. They pull their mag sling from their belt, draw a weapon secondary action. And while they are doing this, they yell for their friends to take cover, speak to an ally. Then, as their primary action, they fire their mag sling. After the first round, the story guide will make any potential adjustments to the initiative order in case anyone changed their initiative during the previous round. Then you start a new round with the updated initiative order. You will repeat this until the story guide decides that the encounter is over. That's it. Thanks for joining us. Check out our channel for more videos like this and remember to subscribe. See you next time.